Good news, everybody. I'm finally launching my Patreon. I know I've been going back and forth on it for quite a long time and then even just agonizing about how to actually set it up and making all the decisions on what to offer as well as what to set my goals at. But it is live now. Um, I should actually just be live like right now. <laughs> But if you want to check it out, I've got the link below as well as I've got another link that has other ways you can help support me in the channel if you're unable to or do not want to support me in that way. And both of those are totally fine as well. Um, but please, even if you're not interested, I'd love if you could just read through it and give me your thoughts. Um, I've rewritten it quite a few times and I'm pretty satisfied with where I have it right now, but I... Would love to hear your guys' input um, just in the comments or on Twitter or through email as well. So if you have any suggestions or questions, even if you don't actually plan on supporting me, um, feel free to leave your input and help me out that way. So there's that. Uh, secondly, I am going to be streaming for most of today probably, like at least a few hours. Um, I do have a bit of a recording session around midday, but after that I will be streaming for quite a few hours. Um, just follow me on Twitter or Twitch to find out when that will be exactly. I don't want to set a time and then be wrong. It's just a lot easier to say just to check it out later. Um, and then thirdly, I just wanted to kind of go over the stuff in my Patre uh, Patreon in a little bit more detail. So if you're just here for the announcement, that's it. That's all you need to know. Um, I'm going to describe the stuff in more detail though and kind of go over it a bit better uh, because some of it is just parsed for the page but I can explain in more detail in person so thanks for watching I hope you guys check out my patreon I hope there's something on there that's interesting to you um, and I hope you're as excited as I am because I'm freaking excited so anyways on to the second part of the video uh, as I said the patreon should be live now um, I don't have a thing. I don't know if there's like a set minimum. I set like the the minimum uh, pledge at like one dollar. So I'm not I'm not making it impossible to support even if you can only afford a small amount a month, like a cup a uh, cup of coffee or less kind of amount. Um, let's see here. Uh, basically, I'll just I'll just read over everything because otherwise I'm just gonna jump around in circles and cover it all anyways. So. Uh, I, there is a trailer which you can watch. Um, I said, hey there, you might know this already, but my name is Fedrin. I've been releasing gaming videos and Let's Plays for years, and while I've always done it as a passion, I may need to quit making videos entirely so that I can prioritize paying my bills instead. Um, I don't mean that I wouldn't want to make videos anymore or that I wouldn't try. I just mean that I would have to spend most of my time working on getting a job and that kind of stuff. So basically not being able to release daily content anymore and all that kind of stuff that happens with that. So I'm looking into all my possible options, including I do have some jobs that I'm applying for right now um, as well, but I, I still want to work on this Patreon thing because I think the way I have it set up, I think it's really good. So yeah, I'm, I'm working on my options, uh, but if you want to directly support me and my channel and help me continue creating videos and get some awesome perks and exclusive goodies in return, then this is for you. So that's the thing. It's kind of like an optional system um, where like instead of just like donating or something like that, um, you can support me with a set amount each month or, you know, maybe not every month, but a set amount and then receive... Um, rewards in return and then also basically uh, you can make it so that I'm guaranteed to be able to provide m more videos and more streams um, and spend more time with viewers uh, through that support because the big thing with like the reason I need money <laughs> is bills and if I can't make money this way or, you know, if I can't find a way to make money to pay my bills, I will need to find a different way. And most of the different ways that I know of would make it so that I couldn't make videos as much or at all. Um, and part of my problem is, like, even right now, like when before I still had a bit of money left in my bank account, um, and I was basically living off of savings, um, my big problem was I was always stressed out about 
like am I am I wasting my time like I really want to make these videos I really want to stream I'm really passionate about it I love doing it but I can't it's not supporting me in any way I'm like wasting my time because I can't pay my bills with this and like what am I doing basically you know it's just you know that's never stopped me from making videos but logistically it should it's like I can't pay my bills I'm running out of money and like I, I just can't keep living like this right so that's there's always that pressure and that stress and if I can use something like patreon to crowdfund the money to be able to support my habit support my passion then it'll make it so that that stress is gone that guilt is gone and it's just like oh well like I have that money. I I basically it's like a government grant or something, right? It's like I've been funded. I have this money to work with. I can pay my bills and now I can just focus on creating and I don't have to focus so much on trying to find a job or like just being desperate and being stressed out and worrying about how I'm going to pay my bills next month. So that's a big reason why I want to do this, even if I do find a job, because I, I like I said, I am looking for some jobs um, within the industry specifically that will kind of fit this lifestyle. And by that, I mean just being able to travel once in a while and possibly like hopefully doing something within the games industry still. Um, that's what I'd like to do. But even with that, um, I would like to also just keep continue making videos and streaming. Um, and to do that, I need to have some way to pay my bills. That's long and short of it. That's that. So with your support, I'd like to keep making daily video content and more of it. Like I said, if I am able to um, basically be paid to continue doing this, then I can do more series. I can go back to doing old series and finish them off. I can like start new series, like I already said. Um, I can I can release more videos in a day um, or whatnot. I can also uh, stream more often and more consistently, uh, spend more time with viewers. Once again, it's it's really about time. It's the fact that I can't afford to spend as much time as I'd like to um, creating videos and content and spending time with viewers. But if I can through Patreon do this, then I can spend more time with viewers. I could do like streams with viewers. I could you know, set up, a, for example, a Minecraft server with, with patrons and play with them. You know, so like, I want to spend more time with viewers in-game and also at public events. So if I could travel more, go to more events, set up more meetups, um, as well as like planning regular events to participate in with viewers. That's another one of the goals, which I'll get to later on. Um, get direct input and provide a positive space to interact with viewers uh, through Patreon. Even if you have like the most... Um, like the smallest pledge, which is one dollar, um, one dollar a month, then you can still just help like vote on what games I play next. Um, just it's, it's a, it's a kind of like a closed, not like a forum, but the, the, you can directly kind of interact with me in a in a private forum kind of area, and um, just have that direct input. Uh, I also want to be able to design and commission a bunch of uh, merchandise and swag and stuff, like stuff to give away at conventions when I go, uh, stuff for specifically for Patreons, like Patreon-specific uh, designs, uh, as well as even just doing like a t-shirt um, campaign and stuff like that. You know, just getting that art made, doing all that kind of stuff. It takes money, it takes time. Uh, and also fund some new and exciting projects that I've always wanted to do, but couldn't justify the time or cost for. So there's lots of really exciting stuff, mostly kind of closer to the bottom of the goals, but I'll get into more detail on that. So as I said, I absolutely don't expect everyone to be able to or even want to support me in this way, and that's totally fine. There are plenty of other ways you can help support me in the channel, many that don't involve money at all, and I've listed a few of them over here, and I have the link for other ways you can support me. Now for the goals. First goal is a monthly stream, $75 per month. If I can raise $75 a month, um, the guarantees that we can do a monthly live stream and patrons will be able to help vote and decide on what games I play. Uh, most streams, when I say stream, I usually, like in my mind, I think like probably three-ish hours. Um, but I do plan on doing um, longer streams 
if possible, you know, shorter streams if I don't have the time. It depends on scheduling and health and whatnot. But for the most part, stream would generally mean like a three to four hour kind of thing. Um, I also do kind of want to do mega streams once in a while, like a really, really long stream, not 24 hours. I'm not that silly, but you know, like six to eight hour streams, I would totally do that kind of stuff. But I don't want to list too many specifics because it's easier to just over, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Over deliver than over promise. So, uh, weekly stream at $300 a month. And it's, once again, it's basically just scaling. So I'm, I'm saying like $75 a stream. Uh, so weekly stream, if I get $300 per month, um, I'll be able to do weekly streams guaranteed and, uh, patrons can help decide on what I play once again. I don't want to decide on like what day a week or what time that can come later. Uh, $500 per month, I will get a patron mumble. I'm thinking probably mumble, but it could be like a team speak or something else. Basically just some kind of voice server that will just be exclusive to patrons so that patrons can hang out, chat with each other, play games with the voice chat. Um, and also like I would also go in and hang out as well. And it'd just be a, like a casual chill in place somewhere you can hang out, chat, play games, be fun. Um, and I'd also be using that in the uh, events that we do together and like when we play together on stream. Uh, at $600 per month, I will set up a vanilla Minecraft server. Um, later on, I might add like a, a some other secondary server, like a modded server or something, depending on uh, interest and like depending on like I might add it as a, a higher tier goal or something later on. But for now, I want to start easy. I don't want to overwhelm myself with things that I need to do. So I'm going to do a vanilla Minecraft server and that will just be exclusive for patrons that pledge $5 or more a month, which is comparable to like a Twitch subscription. So I think that's like a good price point, which sounds dirty saying that, but like, I feel like five bucks and um, it's a pretty reasonable goal. We should be able to reach it relatively easy, hopefully. Um, but yeah, 600 per month. And then that's still like, I don't know how big of a server I would need depending on how many people are interested in playing at once, but I kind of put it a little bit higher just so that um, regardless of the amount of extra time I would need, as well as um, having to like moderate and stuff and like the upkeep of the actual server itself and all of that, including also the payments per month for the server. You know, I wanted to just put it a little higher so that it's worth the extra stress. Not that I'm stressed out spending time with viewers and stuff. It's just, you know, there's always get a group of people together. There's going to be stress at some point. And so just to mitigate the stress and the actual additional money that it'll cost to upkeep that, that's why it's a little bit higher of a goal. But at $700 per month, um, I'll get a PO box and I'll do a monthly mail opening vlog. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, and that kind of goes into some of the rewards as well. $800 per month, I'll do a podcast style radio show. I'm not entirely sure if I'll also release it on things like iTunes and stuff. I don't know how that all works, but I'll look into it for sure. Um, but mainly what I just mean is just kind of like a voice or video um, style show. Might be live streamed, might be recorded, might just be released as an MP3. I'm not sure. I haven't figured that out. Details will come later, but uh, like a podcast style radio show, uh, same, like even like theme and stuff. I'm not sure. We'll figure that out. But a lot of people are always saying that they would love if I had like a podcast or, you know, they could just listen to me talk all the time. This is where that comes in. It makes it so that I can do a podcast, like a regular podcast show, and patrons can help submit questions and decide on topics and stuff like that. So that should be really fun as well. I can get a lot of guests in, you know, in the industry. It'd be a lot of fun, basically. I'd love to do it. This is all these things are stuff I want to do. I just can't afford it or like I don't have the time for it. So basically, you're literally funding me to do the things that are awesome and cool that you can do with me. It's fun. It's great. All right. Uh, $900 per month. That'll be three weekly streams. Once again, that's basically $75 a stream ish. That's just assuming like four weeks, three a week, you know, some months it'll be more or less. But 
uh, $900 per month. It'll be three streams a week. And one of the streams a week will be focused entirely on playing games with patrons or on the patron server. Um, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory too. Basically the patron Minecraft server, I'll be able to play on with you guys on the mumble in chat. Like we can just play together for like an entire stream once a week, you know, or we can play other multiplayer games or, you know, whatever else, but that basically makes it so that I can stream a lot more frequently and also spend more time with you guys. So it's great. Um, at a thousand dollars per month, monthly patron events, once again, a little higher, but like, it's all, it's all cumulative. So like, it's like, oh my God, like a thousand dollars for that. But it's like, no, a thousand dollars for monthly patron events, plus three streams a week. And one of them is with patrons plus a podcast, plus a P.O. Box and monthly mail opening vlog, plus a patron Minecraft server, plus a patron mumble, plus, you know, like it's a lot of stuff altogether. Um, yeah, so monthly patron events, that would be stuff like, um, like setting up, like, not just like, hey, let's play for stream. I mean, like actually spending time and setting up like a UHC or like some kind of PVP thing or like a building competition or like a some other like some other game related thing, you know, but like basically patron only kind of like fun, exciting event, something exciting once a month and that actually takes time and planning. Um, and that also involves things like giveaways and stuff, too. So um, at twelve hundred per month, um, I'll be able to do console streaming and also do more hardware upgrades. That's more when I'll be getting stuff like um, like I'd be able to get like a PS4 eventually, um, as well as the equipment to stream from consoles. I have a lot of console games. I just don't have any way to capture a console to stream. So like PS4 is a big one um, because I can also do janky stuff, I think, either through PS4 or through PS TV to do Vita games. So I'd be able to make Vita, uh, Vita game videos, PS4 games, PS3 games. Um, I have an Xbox 360. I don't have an Xbox One. Um, I could get some retro consoles as well. Like, sky's the limit, basically. But that's when I can start kind of um, investing money more directly on upgrades to Hansel, uh, Hansel? <laughs> hardware, consoles, and um, as well as software. So... 1500 a month consoles, meetups, vlogs. Once again, it's more just like once I'm able to not only pay my bills and not only put more money towards paying off my debt, um, but also have some money to put towards more things. Um, I'll be able to go to more, more events, conventions, um, set up more meetups, just regardless of conventions and events. Um, and also get like better camera gear and stuff so that I can do vlogs while I'm there. So and then I have, as my highest goal, I have $2,000 a month, which would be freaking amazing. Um, and that's above and beyond, and that's ASMR, audiobooks, etc. So basically, I'll have the freedom and funds to start more involved projects, not just on my, my channel, but also possibly secondary channels. I could do like a vlog channel. I could do like streaming almost daily, probably. Um, I could travel a lot more as well. Um, I could do ASMR style videos. I could do like an ASMR style series or an ASMR channel, uh, like more, like all that kind of stuff. I also want to look into doing audiobooks or just um, like reading books on video and stuff like that. So from what I understand, it's just more of the things you guys want to see from me. So unless I'm totally off base, hopefully these are things you guys should want and, and want me to do. And I want to do like, these are things I'm excited for. So, um, that's what we've got for goals for now. There are some other goals I'll probably add later on, or depending on like, I might tweak them or we might find one of them becomes like obsolete or something. So we'll just add something else. Um, but pretty exciting stuff. And lastly, I'll just go over the pledges. Um, $1 a month basically is just, you only get access to patron, uh, the patron only activity feed and you get to vote on future games and decisions, but you don't actually really receive like a, like a reward. So sorry, but it, it's a dollar. I, I basically everything I add on here, uh, for goals and rewards makes more 
more work for me as well. So I also have to consider like how much time I want to spend like mailing rewards or, you know, setting up events and, and doing goals. So it's, it's a balancing act. I think I've got it good, but uh, $5 or more per month, uh, you'll get access to the patron only events and play sessions. Uh, you'll get access to the activity feed. You'll be able to vote on games and decisions as well. And you'll also get access to um, the patron Minecraft server and Mumble once those goals have been met. So once we get those goals, like you'll have access to the, the Minecraft server, the Mumble, and you'll be able to participate in any like giveaways or um, whenever I play games with patrons and stuff like that. Just depending on obviously space. I won't be able to play with like every single patron at the same time, but you will have the ability or the chance to. So um, at the $15 or more a month, it's digital donor. I did a bit of alliteration here so that I'd easily, more easily remember each one, but digital donor is $15 a month. All of the goodies that can fit in an online message. So you get all this, the previous rewards, um, patron events, activities, activity feed, you get voting, as well as the Minecraft server and mumble access once the goals have been met. Uh, but you'll also receive digital artwork, device wallpapers, and other electronically transferable goods. So I'm not entirely sure all the kind of things I'm going to be doing, but for sure, I'm going to be every month, I'm going to be commissioning a different artist um, to get some art made. Generally, Fedrin related stuff, but it might be different art styles, different game related, different whatever, like, but I'm, I'm basically going to get a bunch of really cool art commissioned. Um, and every month it's going to be new art. And the digital donor will receive that art as like wallpapers or like iPhone wallpapers, you know, like cell phone wallpaper backgrounds, um, Vita backgrounds, um, you know, so you can use that art and like display it or like put it on your phone or whatever else. Um, electronically transferable goods. I'm thinking things like map downloads or like mods or like paper craft or like, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to experiment and think of some really cool things that I can add in there, but nothing specific because it's going to change all the time. So at $25, $25 or more per month, uh, that's pen pal and it is limited to only 25 slots. I may increase or decrease the slots depending on how much time it takes me or um, just the demand. But still, I don't think I'll increase that one very much because it requires a lot of like actual sitting down with a pen and paper and cramping my hand. And once again, it's such a balance of, of like how I'm going to spend my time. So as, as, as important as it is, I, I want it to stay important, but I don't want it to overwhelm everything else I need to spend time doing. So for the pen pal tier, $25, uh, for those that like something a little more tangible, that art that I'm going to be commissioning every month, I'm actually going to not only like there's the digital copy and that's fine. And like everybody $15 and up will have access to that. But for the pen pal and for the male maven and like benevolent backer alliteration uh, for the upper tier, uh, rewards. I'm only going to be printing, basically I'm going to print out that art. Every month I'm going to commission custom art and I'm going to get 100 postcards printed with that art and they're going to be numbered and it's going to be a limited custom collectible art card. So for pen pal, uh, which is, there's only 25, you will receive that limited numbered out of a hundred um, custom art card with new art every month. Um, and it'll be signed, handwritten and personalized with a thank you note. So every, every, basically every month you'll get a new postcard from me with like a note and a message and you know, it's a postcard. <laughs> That's how it works. Um, but it'll be on that limited edition numbered out of a hundred custom art every month. You'll get new art, new postcard, new letter you know, um, and you'll still receive access to all the patron stuff, patron events, the Minecraft server, the mumble server, and the digital artwork as well. So you can use that on all your devices or just like print it out or whatever else. But like I say, the postcards it's themselves will be limited to a hundred and numbered. And then same again on the $45 tier mail maven, 
Um, also limited to 25 right now. Same thing, I might increase or decrease depending on how much time it takes me to do as well as like demand. But basically this way it makes it so I only have to write 25 postcards and mail 25 packages. And I don't want to make that too much more because that'll take a lot of time and a lot of money. But uh, for Mail Maven, you get the postcard, you get the, the, the custom out of 100 limited collectible art card, but I won't write a letter on it. Um, instead, you'll actually get the postcard in an envelope, and in that envelope you will also receive um, some flat custom swag that will vary from month to month. And once again, I don't really want to give it away, but like think like stickers but cooler. Like I'm gonna get stickers, stickers are probably gonna exist, buttons, magnets, all those things are probably gonna happen, but I also have some really cool ideas for a bunch of different like uh, swag and merchandise that I'm gonna get made, some of it to give away at conventions, um, some of it just Patreon only, Patreon exclusive, Patreon exclusive designs. Um, but yeah, you'll get that swag in the envelope as well as the custom postcard, but like blank. And then on top of that, the digital digital tier and access to the server and the mumble and patron only events and giveaways and all that kind of stuff too. And then for the last one, it's um, $100 or more per month and it's the benevolent backer. And that might sound a little bit intense, but basically it's for people that um, like really want to support me, really want to just sponsor me basically, um, but also maybe aren't interested in rewards or are interested in a more personal or private kind of reward. So for this one, you can actually decide whether you want to have all of the previous rewards, you know, as usual, or you could actually discuss with me and we can set up like a custom reward tier for you. So, you know, something like we could have a monthly one-on-one -on -one video call, or like I could do um, like a consultation, or, you know, like, um, maybe I could come visit your personal server and play with you, like, alone, you know, that kind of thing. So it's just more, more custom kind of tier for, like, high roller <laughs> uh, supporters. So uh, I'm not saying, like, you can get anything, but we can discuss options. Uh, I'm definitely open to discussions, so you can email me about that if you want more details or like to know if, you know, if you have an idea, like, hey, what about this? Can I, if I do the $100 tier, can we do this? Can this be my reward? Yeah, we can discuss it. Um, but it's up to my discretion in the end. So anyways, I just, I wanted to put that in there because I feel like, I feel like that's for some people, like they just want to donate and they don't actually care about the rewards or like they would rather just be able to have a call or something like, you know, like have that time with me instead or something. It, I feel like, I felt like it was a good option to have in there, even if nobody actually goes for it, but yeah. Anyway, so that's, that's, those are the basic details of the Patreon. Um, if you still have any other questions or concerns or suggestions, feel free to comment, tweet me, email, whatever you would like. Um, I feel like I've explained it pretty well. And I feel like a lot of it's pretty self-explanatory anyways, but yeah, if you, if you want to check it out for yourself, the link is below and, um, the other options for supporting me, uh, like just even tweeting out my Patreon or liking videos or drawing fan art and sending it in. Like those are all options. There's another link that shows some of the other options for helping to support me and the channel. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. So, I don't really want to say I hope you guys enjoyed, but I'll see you on the next video.